गुड मॉर्निंग आल टूडेज टॉपिक इज टोबैको एंड स्मोकिंग बिहेवियर्स लर्निंग आउटकम्स डिस्क्राइब द स्मोकिंग एपिडेमिक डिस्क्राइब द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ एक्टिव एंड पैसिव स्मोकिंग एक्सप्लेन द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ क्विट स्मोकिंग ऑन जनरल हेल्थ वाई इज देर ए बिग इशू विथ टोबैको एंड स्मोकिंग since it is the only legal consumer item that is highly addictive and kills half of its regular users linked to various health problem for example respiratory cancer and heart diseases so here we are giving money to have a disease what are the types of tobacco smoking smoking may be in the form of cigarette cigars tobacco in pipe shisha that is flavored water smoking and kamar and uh, nowadays vaping is there any data on, on the impact of smoking in malaysia yes about 50% of the malaysian men 18 years and above are smokers about 20% teenage teenagers are smokers 85% of the teenagers end up as cigarette addicts an estimated 3500 out of 10000 deaths are related to smoking in malaysia each year prevalence of smoking this graph is showing the decline in the prevalence of smoking maybe if it is decline also still this is an issue and we never predict it will go on declining or it can increase again so cigarette prevalence adult current tobacco smoking prevalence is 21% adult current tobacco smoking prevalence female is 1% adult current tobacco smoking prevalence in male 42.7% adult daily tobacco smoking prevalence is 17.4% so these are the prevalence of cigarette e cigarette that is vaping adult current e cigarette vaping prevalence is 3.2% ever tried e cigarette vaping is 11.9% number of current vapers is 721000 what makes a smoker addict to cigarette cigarettes contain nicotine which is very addictive much like heroin and cocaine drugs repetitive smoking leads to addiction or dependency smoking is related to tobacco related disease example cancer heart disease breathing problems gateway to illicit drug abuse how is smoking dangerous when smoke the cigarette release releases about 4000 poisonous chemical approximately 63 of these chemicals may cause cancer what are the dangerous chemical in cigarette smoke tar ammonia naphthalamine arsenic nicotine cadmium ddt formaldehyde butane methanol hydrogen cyanide toluene carbon monoxide these are some of the dangerous chemicals emitted after smoking cigarette can people surrounding the smokers get the ill effect yes you can be unwittingly become a passive smoker smoking second hand smoke that comes from smoker and get the same undesired outcomes like asthma heart disease etc is passive smoking less dangerous no it is the reverse compared to the smoke that smokers take in second hand smoke contains two times the nicotine three times the tar five times the more carbon monoxide 50 times more dangerous chemicals so passive smoking is more dangerous than active smoking what are the diseases related to smoking and may cause death airways disease lung cancer breast cancer nose throat cancer mouth cancer 
food tube or esophageal cancer, heart disease, renal cancer, stomach or peptic ulcer, then stroke. Are there any law and regulation on tobacco smoking? Yes, it's a crime for teenagers to smoke, buy or even to handle any tobacco products. Smoking is prohibited in many places including school, hospital and clinics, government buildings, lifts and aeroplane. When is smoking considers an addiction? When the bodily symptoms like fidgeting, trembling, faster heartbeat, heartbeat and shallow breathing. And thought patterns like thinking of wanting another puff of cigarette, having anxious thoughts and worries and inability to concentrate. Emotional patterns like irritability, anxiety, edginess and restlessness. Behavioral patterns like decline in the school attendance, dropping out of school, change in attitude and behavior, involvement in crime like example stealing to fund habit. So this is these are reasons will uh, we conclude that if the person is having these symptoms then he is addicted. What are the health benefits of quitting smoking? It improves health and increases the life expectancy. It lowers to all type of cancer. It lowers the risk of cardiovascular disease. It lowers the risk of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease that is COPD. Then it lowers the risk of some poor reproductive health outcomes. Then it benefits people who have already been diagnosed with coronary heart disease or COPD. And it also benefits at any age, even people who have smoked for years of have a smoke heavily will benefit from quitting. So these are the benefits of quitting. So this is about tobacco behaviors.